We ended on the rooftop yesterday with the with the I Irish guy from Ireland. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> on the rooftop with toucans and monkeys and I was so excited yeah and this uh, Irish guy showed up and him and Kenneth had some beers yeah we talked uh, about everything from Vikings to uh, Irish famine to uh, businesses and a little bit about religion and politics and it's actually quite cozy. Um, Cormac. Cormac. Shout yeah. out to Cormac. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's Saturday and we have booked another hostel. We are moving closer to the city. Actually, in the city. And um, yeah, we will see. Right, so uh, we just uh, booked an Uber to go to the uh, new uh, hostel and it's a little Chevy Spark, so I hope there is a room for our suitcases. Hi William. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 We just got dropped off by our Uber driver um, and we're in the middle of the city. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to find it. It's just a dog here. Yeah. <laughs> trying to find the, the hostel and some of the locals pointed over here. So hopefully yeah. it's over here. <laughs> we just checked in to our our new hostel. Yeah. Yeah. This is our room. We have a bed. We have a telly. And we have a fridge. And we have a is it cold? Yeah. Oh, that's a pleasant sound. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It'll do for a weekend. Yeah. And then we have a view to the terrace. That's not bad. No. It's fine. <sighs> Morning Panama City. <laughs> it's around... Uh, I covered it there. Okay, we had a bit of a special day today. We were trying to explain very, very early what our plans was for the day. And suddenly the, the driver just showed up. And from the moment we stepped into his car, he talked. <laughs> Every single minute. So we didn't really have a chance to um, now, we didn't really have a chance to say anything to you guys. He just started talking and off we went. Yeah. So that's why this is going to be a little different. We're just going to try to explain a little bit about what we experienced today. And then we're going to show you some clips because we think that works a <laughs> little bit better because we literally had no chance to say anything. Yeah. We couldn't stop him. No. Sorry. We, uh... Got up at, uh, really early this morning. Oh yeah. 
and we got picked up at 7 a.m. and normally the the tour would begin at 8 but um, they just wrote us we have to be outside the hotel at 7 mm-hmm. so we uh... drove out of the city it was it's Sunday so the, the streets were pretty much empty yeah no traffic yeah that was excellent brilliant and we drove all the way up to Gamboa yeah yeah up to the to docks. the docks at the uh, Gatun Lake uh, or actually I think the docks were at uh, a small inlet close to the Chakras River so we reached uh, the lakeside and we're just uh, gonna wait for another family a Panamanian family is gonna join us and then we're gonna head out to the Monkey Island or the Monkey Islands uh, a couple of boats were being prepared um, for the morning and yeah, we, we waited at the dock mm-hmm. for another family who should join us. Yeah, they were a bit late. Yeah. So we waited yeah. around 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, something um, like that, yeah. Which was kind of time-wasting. Yeah. We're a little late. Um, we're just waiting for the Panamanian family, but I think he, uh, he found them. All right. That's our boat. He's go all over anywhere. Okay. Okay, so we left the docks and went straight out to the actual Panama Canal. Yeah. And on the way out, there weren't really any large container ships or anything. So we just went straight to the this. Monkey Islands. Yeah. <laughs> And then the people make them so guilty. They're howling monkeys. Ready to see the monkeys? As I said, that's the hard part. Yeah. Also that, be sure to give them two or four pieces. So it isn't just one island, it's three islands with three different monkeys. Yeah. There was the tamarins, there was the howler monkeys, and there was the... Cappuccino, Capuchin monkeys. Cap- Capuchin, yeah. Cappuccino. <laughs> Cappuccino. <laughs> we arrived to the first island and we were just sitting in the boat and no, bu- no monkey showed up. Mm. So we uh, sailed between these three islands, which is close. We're just sitting <laughs> with our... <laughs> a whole slices of banana to give the monkeys, but um, no monkeys yet. Okay, so we got the howlers up here to the left. Oh, they're up there. They're lazy. Oh, they're being lazy. Now I'm in business. Alright. Hi, Monkey. That's Colin. <laughs> Hello, Colin. Oh. That's oh. Oh, come on. No, guys. no, you got one. Oh. Open your hand like this. Oh. 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 They do that sometimes. Hey. Do you want this one? No. Hey. You want it? They were crazy about these peanuts. Yeah. And uh, they could crack open and sit and then munch on, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Normally, we, we don't encourage feeding uh, wild animals, but he told us that these animals, these monkeys, um, had been a part of some research groups. Um, so they were part domestic, part wild. So it was a gray zone. Where's the monkey? 
Hey, we got a tamarind. You got the banana pieces there? Yeah. Scared yet. Come on, buddy. Come on. He saw something in the water. What's wrong, man? No. You don't want it? Something in the water has him. Yeah. Oh, good monkey. Another one? On the other side. And then after the Monkey Islands, we headed back out into the Panama Canal. And it was around late morning. Um, so a lot of container ships actually passed through as we sailed back to the docks. That was pretty cool. Four or five really big container ships and a couple of uh, these uh, car? car container ships. Yeah. Uh, these odd looking, closed, really tall and narrow ships. Yeah, but some of these uh, container ships was, they were enormous. Mm. It was just uh, sailing past them in this little, 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 little tiny, <laughs> tiny uh, boat. Yeah. Oh, so. We were just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, impressive. That was the monkey island of the tour. Now we are looking forward to see an indigenous village, we hope. And soon have some lunch. You guys stay on the boat, we're going to the village. Just gonna drop them off here. Yeah. Alrighty. We headed up uh, further into the Gatun Lake, up towards the some of the river systems. In about five, ten, ten minutes, uh, there was a couple of small villages. Yeah. Uh, our guide told us that one of the villages was associated with the resort and was very touristy. So we headed into the other village, um, which was a small village. Fifty people lived there, um, but when we came, there were like four women and a girl, mm -hmm. um, but otherwise the village seemed rather yeah. empty. Yeah. A couple of dogs and some chicken. <laughs> it was a little bit strange visit. Um, yeah. You on, on one hand you feel a bit uncomfortable because you just enter this completely different culture. And we were the only ones yeah. there. Only ones. But on the other hand it was also pretty interesting. And Yeah, it was a bit strange because we were let directly to the handcraft yeah they, they had like this big communal building mm. and there were tables with all the stuff they sold mm. um, and our guide also paid a sort of admission fee to the elder um, for us simply allowed us to, to come into the village yeah so, yeah but they they made some some pretty cool handcrafts and you know we supported them by buying a couple of small trinkets he bought these two. Isn't that pretty? This is um, this is made from uh, palm fibers, and they tightly, tightly weave them together. And I think this this pattern looks uh, looks pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not waterproof, but you can you know, store different stuff in it. Some money, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one is. Um, it's one of the the boats they are using, mm -hmm. and it's carved by some. These carvings are made from uh, hardwood, but they don't cut down the trees. Uh, it's from a branch that falls uh, dead on the yeah on the ground, and then they do the carvings. Yeah, and also it's only the women who do all the mm -hmm. sewing. Mm -hmm. She was. Uh, 
with the oh beads. yeah with the small uh, beads yeah yeah mm. yeah yeah true. they had some pretty amazing breast coverings yeah. with beads mm. some yeah. pretty amazing so yeah. all the sewing all the weaving are the women and all the carving cutting stuff is the men mm. job what means Mohim? Iwahim means thank you. Thank you, Mohim. Iwahim. So we supported with thirty-five dollars. Mm. But they're pretty. I like them. Um, after we had uh, looked at the handcraft, we went for a walk in the jungle. Just. Yeah behind the, the village, it's like 10, 15 minute um, walk. Um, it would have been really cool if it had been one of the, you know, the elders in the village who could have shown us some medicinal plants. It, and, was, it was the guy yeah, who just, showed us around. And, and he could really tell us things about plants and trees and everything. Mm. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> if he fell down to the plane in a jungle, he would make it. He would make it. Absolutely. <laughs> at, least, at least I believe that he believes he would make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was just 15, 20 minutes mm. in the rainforest and I got 15 to 20 mm. mosquito bites. Despite yeah. using insect repellent, yeah. uh, they were really hungry. For they just love me. Foreign blood. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to the village, um, we just took a couple of uh, photos with, uh, with oh, yeah. the tribe. Uh, yeah. Whoever was uh, left there. But they, yeah. They didn't smile. No. And they, it's a funny <laughs> cultural thing. Uh, the Invero, they, they don't smile in pictures. So we were like standing behind them. <laughs> and they were like all, all sitting there. I just saw that after. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, why are we standing there <laughs> like clowns and they are just sitting? Yeah, they don't smile in pictures. Then we went to the boat again, back to the dock, to the van. My ears are a little tired. Yeah, mine too. He talks all the time. <laughs> then we went to um, some kind of food hall. Yeah. So behind us is uh, the Petro Miguel Locks. Um, unfortunately, the Miraflores is closed, the visitor center, due to COVID. So uh, this is the next best uh, thing. Lunch break. Lunch break. Pretty modern place, uh, recently built. Um, had like six to eight different food venues. Could get anything from a burger to a pizza, pizza to some chicken. And there was also this place serving more traditional cuisine. So we went. We chose that. Yeah, we went for that. We had actually a, a very tasty meal: some grilled chicken breast with some mozzarella and some tomato, mm. and some rice, French fries, a corn cob, and you got some. Um, That's sweet plantain. Yeah. Yeah. With a bit of cinnamon yeah. uh, flavor to it. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And then we came back to our hotel, and after six, <laughs> five, six hours of constantly. Talking. He was talking all the time. Uh, it was so nice to just get some peace and quiet. Yeah. And then something really cool happened. Oh yeah. Someone yeah. reached out to you. Yeah, yesterday a guy named Palibo. Yeah, reach out uh, on our Instagram. And Pal is a podcaster. Mm. He's from Denmark been traveling around the world for the past five years. He has been to almost 100 countries and he was actually traveling the opposite direction of us. So we are traveling south and he's traveling north. Mm -hmm. uh, he was just the nicest guy. Uh, and very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Very. We had a really passionate talk with him about uh, this digital nomad lifestyle and he wanted to yeah. do 
an, an interview. interview. Yeah. With which, us. Which is just awesome. With us. Yeah. Can you imagine that? It's just. <laughs> it's crazy. Pretty crazy. And we did that. It's it's unfortunately in Danish, but we will leave a link to his uh, website, mm. the Radio Vagabond. Com. It gave us a little bit of inspiration also to grow our small, tiny YouTube channel. Yeah, um, but Palak, Palak called us YouTubers. Yeah, he did. And we're just like, what are we, 60? 62, I think. 60 subscribers. We love you guys. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Yeah. So all in all, uh, pretty eventful day absolutely so that's all for today folks yeah